All right, so yesterday I did a uh, short video on the water crisis here in Las Vegas. And I hope you watched that. Um, again, completely unscripted, unplanned, and a bit of a rant, but a passionate appeal to truth, and especially people here that live in Las Vegas, that we have an environmental an economic and social catastrophe may be in our doorsteps here if it's not already here now. So today I wake up, this is after posting the uh, video yesterday, and I wake up and then the front page of the um, a newspaper and the networks is Lake Mead, which is the big lake, the largest man-made reservoir in the United States, um, which is about uh, 25 miles from where I live. Uh, reached its lowest rate, its lowest level, since the 1930s. Now, this lake was built in the 1930s. So, essentially, it's the lowest it has ever been since it's been developed. It is at 30% of its high capacity. 30%. We're losing an incredible amount of water from Lake, uh, lake Mead. Now, does Lake Mead mean everything to Las Vegas? Are there other sources? Is it the Colorado River? Are there aquifers? Are there other sources of water in Las Vegas? Yes. But if ever you wanted to see a barometer, a thermometer, a metric, something to measure what is going on in the city of Las Vegas regarding water and the shortages and the pending crisis that is here on our doorsteps now, it is simply to look at what's called the bathroom ring the bathroom ring around Lake Mead. I remember when that lake was like, it was an amazing oasis, blue, gorgeous marble in the middle of the desert with cool, beautiful water. And now it's at one third of what it was when I moved to this city 20 years ago. And if things continue the way they're going with the drought and especially the out of control development in this city and in Southern Nevada, which is completely unsustainable, there's not gonna be any water left. And then what do we do? Tell me, what do we do when we're out of water? One of my good friends is Nick Christensen. Nick, if you're watching me, and I know you'll see this, congratulations, you're running for office and you, man, you have my vote. As do all progressives, as do all environmentalists, as do all conservationists, as do all realists. You gotta be a realist about what's going on. And a lot of people aren't because this city, this state, and largely this country has been run, run into the ground by corporate interest, developers, a lot of out-of-state developers who couldn't give a rat's ass what's going on in the state of Nevada and how people live here in Las Vegas. They couldn't care less. Add another car to the road, build another gas station, build another strip mall, build a bunch more track homes, and just stack them together and st stacking people on top of each other and while they reap the profits, record profits. And meanwhile, we're out of water or we're getting close to it. So yeah. I mentioned Nick Christensen a minute ago, and man, like I said, you have told the truth here. You have my vote. Please check out Nick. You're going to hear more about me um, supporting and endorsing Nick Christensen and other progressives and other environmentalists and other conservationists who are running for public office who are aware of the problems in this city. And this city has done a pretty good job in some ways. There's a lot of people especially the water district here, the Las Vegas Valley Water District has an exceptional job of conservation and converting um, greenery or lawns and golf courses to what's called desert landscaping. I'll do the show on that or a brief video on that at some point in the future. It's a good thing, but it's, we need more of it. And we certainly don't need more development and when I look into the mountains and see road after road and houses and nothing but BLM land being developed in a place that doesn't have enough water. Someday people are going to look back on these kind of videos that, and people that wrote articles and screamed from the hilltops and said, stop it now. 
and by then it'll be too late. So the question is, what are you going to do, especially if you live in Las Vegas? Do something. Invite and in, vote. Get involved. Vote for conservationists, environmentalists, progressives, because they're the only ones who are going to save this city, this way of life, and this great place that we know as our home in Las Vegas.